Hello everyone and welcome to something a little bit different today. I've had a request to go through some of the methods that we have on the contention server of tracking your stats and learning from your past fights. And so we've got a few methods of doing this. We've got the statistics system, which uses Discord. We've got the attack view system, which uses attack view. And we've got the track file system, which uses DCS. So we'll go through each of those. Time cards will be down below if you want to skip to one in particular. First off, though, let's have a look at the stats page. So first thing you want to do is go on to the official Strike Package Studios server. The link to that will be in the description. And then right at the top, we've got bot commands. So we want to go in there. And then what we can do is type commands. Now, if you've never done this before, first thing you want to do is link your Discord and your in-game usernames together. To do that, you type forward slash link me, or one word. You then push enter, and then you'll get a little pop-up. Now, I have already linked my account so I don't need to do anything further. If you were new to this, this would give you a code which you would copy and put into the in-game text chat, just like you would if you were talking to someone else using the in-game chat. You put that in, press enter, links it all together. After that, it is set. You don't need to do it again. So I'm just going to go ahead and dismiss that message. Now, if I want to bring up statistics, I go forward slash statistics. Now I have two options here. I've got period and user that I can put in. So if I say period, I get these options of what I want these to. So I can have yesterday, today, the last week, the last month, the last quarter, all the way back to my last year of statistics. So I had a little bit of a fly out yesterday, so let's check out yesterday. And then we've got user. Here, you want to enter your user. Now, you can enter yourself. You can also enter anyone else that you want to. So, in this case, let's just search for me. And this is your uh, DCS call sign that this will use. So, in this case, my DCS call sign is chemist11. And then press enter again. There we go pulls up a little thing of my stats. Now, I didn't have a overly great session yesterday. I was mostly flying uh, transport helicopters. And so uh, we can see here, not too interesting. Now, you can go backwards and forwards here, get different tables out. And you can also click the drop down button to filter by server. So let's go for something that is a little bit more interesting. So. Let's go to statistics, and instead this time, let's see my past year's statistics. So it kept one one. Here we go, much more uh, entertaining uh, file here. So I've got my airframe per hour, the server time on the different servers that I have played. You can see I spent most of my time this past year on the Cold War server. Most of that time has been on Syria. I've got a pretty even amount of crashes, ejections, and deaths. And we can bring all of this out. My kill-death ratio. Certainly died a lot more than I've killed, but I do a lot of air to ground, so that kind of makes sense. And so I can filter further, so I can say, well, what if I just care about my uh, contention Cold War stats? There we go. Nice new list there, seeing how I've been doing in that little session. And yep, you can absolutely look up someone else's stats. So, I fly up Judas a lot. Let's see how he's been doing over the past year. And there we go. Get all of his stats. You can compare against your friends, go get bragging rights and things. See, as expected here, Judas is very obsessed with the Fokker Wolf 190, and he's put most of his time into that. So that's it for the 
um, Discord statistics version. So next up, looking in a bit more detail, we can also pick up TAC views. So client-side TAC views are disabled for various performance reasons, um, but the server does automatically save TAC view files of every single session, so you can always go and grab them. Now, the link to this is on a Google Drive. This will be down below in the description. And once you go there, you will see all of the TAC views being listed going back a very, very, very long way. Now, the hardest part here is finding which TAC view is the relevant one. So first thing to look at is make sure you're on the right server. Both the SARH and the Cold War servers get exported to the same little area. And then the other thing is looking for the time that looks about right to you. So to kind of pass the tech view format here, what we have is the date in year, month, day format. And then we have the time at which it was uploaded in 24-hour format. Now with these I'm honestly not entirely sure what the time stamp is taken from, but a good general rule of thumb is you can look at all of the tax views being created from a particular date. So for example I had a session on yesterday, December 7th, and so uh, it was an evening session, so reasonable enough to say that the one that was being generated last thing then is that one. So I've downloaded this file. And once I've got that loaded, I just need to open that in TACView. ACMI files for my PC are already identified as TACView files, so I can just open that up. If you would like a more thorough guide into installing TACView, which is a standalone program, and using TACView, do let me know. I will be able to put that together. It goes a bit beyond the scope of today's video. And then we can check here by looking through our list of players. These are in alphabetical order, but it goes through rocket pods, aircraft, fixed wing, then helicopters. I was flying helicopters yesterday, so let's find the hind. These are in alphabetical order, so here we go. Here is my um, hind, so if I select one of these, it will then highlight the times where my aircraft was active. And so here we go, you can see our little sortie here. And so we can play back particular parts of that if we want to learn what we did well, what we did badly. So, for example, here, just replaying a fight that I had when I was being engaged by a couple of fixed-wing aircraft. And so I can look back, judge what happened, see how it went, see what I could improve on next time. Again, can do a full uh, tack view video in the future if that's something you'd all be interested in. So you see there I launched, didn't quite hit, and they very much then hit me. So on to the last way to get some information back on how you did previously is that you can look at the track files. Now you can do this straight off. If you just click on replay, you want to go to tracks, multiplayer. All of your multiplayer sessions are automatically saved here. Now there are two issues. One is that DCS track files are not very stable. It's a little bit of a coin flip as to whether or not they will work. Sometimes they work really well, sometimes they work awfully. It does depend on the latest patch of whether it's broken or not. Right now they're in an okay-ish state. The other issue is that if I just load this up right now, I would have the same camera restrictions as I did in-game at the time. And so for just about all multiplayer servers, contention included, that limits you to first-person views, which is fine if that is what you're wanting, but if you're wanting to get more of an all-around view of what happened, we can fix that. What we need to do is open the mission in the mission editor. So we go to mission editor, open mission. So what we need to do is find our track file. 
So what we're going to need to do at first is just go backwards to the DCS main folder, then go to the tracks folder, then multiplayer, and then the little drop down down here that will by default be .niz, change that to .track, and you can find your files there. And so again, let's say I wanted that same Cold War sortie that we just looked at. I can attempt to open that up. Now, once that's loaded, what we need to do is just change the settings. And so if we go to the little mission options check mark, what we want to do is on external views, we want to enable that. And what can also be really handy with finding things in the view is to go to F10 view options and set that to all. That way when you go to F10 you'll be able to see everyone, select everyone, makes it really good at say looking at what your opponent's view was. Then you want to save this. Now you can just click the save button. That is absolutely fine, that will override the old file. Problem is that if you've not made a backup of the file, this can absolutely just break the track file entirely. A little bit safer is to go save as. I put all my backups in a backup folder. I'll then give it a name so I know what it is. And then importantly, where you've got the drop down, make sure you set that back to track files. Once that's done, we can save. It'll take a little while. Once it has saved, though, we just exit, go back to replay. And then in my backup file, I've got file, and then we load this up and cross our fingers. Now, when it loads in, just give it a couple of seconds just to settle. As I said, these track files are fairly sensitive. Then you can click fly. Now, initially, it will load with uh, out you in anything. See the time sticking away in the bottom corner. To test whether the track view file has worked, all it can do is go to the F10 map and see if there are players flying around. In this case, we can see a couple of players here. So click on one, go F2. There we go. We've got the track file nice and functional here. Now I can just watch along as if I was in a Game Master view here. I've got access to everything, can see everything that was going on at the time. Now obviously you want to be getting forward to what you have done in the mission, and there we do have some issues. Most notably is that it's going to take you quite a while to actually get to where you were in the fight. And you can speed time up. By default, that is Control and Z. We'll put it into two times mode. And you can keep doing Control and Z, speed it up faster and faster. Problem with Z, these track files are very, very wonky. And if you fast forward too much, it will desync. Essentially, the track view files work by recording input commands, not recording actual aircraft positions and things. And so slight little errors start to balloon into big errors, especially if anything with the AI is concerned. As you see there, as soon as you would have joined in, it then loads us into the helicopter. That's what I was playing at the time. It will join um, SRS as well, which is not as helpful as it thinks it is. Otherwise here it's functioning, so what I would suggest is don't go any more than onto four times speed when you are time accelerating. But otherwise this can be a very useful tool for getting a, another viewpoint for your missions, also very useful for making pretty videos. But all in all, those are the methods that I use in order to look back at my um, sessions to kind of judge how I've been doing and judge what I can improve on next time. If you'd like to see more in-depth review of any of these in particular, do please let me know. And 
Otherwise, there are plenty of other guides currently on the channel, so do look at those. If you found this useful, please do consider leaving a like, comment, or subscribe. It all really does help the algorithm promote the channel. And otherwise, remember to be kind to yourselves and everyone else. Cheers.